everybody, welcome back to Marlow News, our monthly show where we keep you up to date on everything in the uniform world, as well as answer your social media questions. As usual, we'll start things off with our Army Service Greens update. Although there is not much new information, we do continue to see photos come in on the wear test, thanks to our soldiers' personal Instagrams and the newly debuted Service Greens spotted at the D-Day 75th anniversary in Normandy. The same as you, we anxiously await any additional information from the Uniform Board. Next up are questions from our friends on social media. Nelson123 on YouTube asked, can you all do a video giving an overview of the U.S. Naval Officer Sword? For our first question from YouTube, we will do you one better with both Army and Navy swords. Ready for a field trip? Everyone, I would like to introduce you to Alan. Alan is Marla White's sword specialist. Say hi, Alan. Hi. Alan will be showing us the Army and Naval Officer Sword, as well as the Army NCO Sword that we have down here in the Marla White Sword Wing. It's the basement. Or the basement. All of our swords come from Sologen, Germany, uh, made by WKC. They're all hand forged. Uh, we'll start with the Army Officer Saber. The Army Officer Saber is a nickel-plated saber. Uh, you can see the attention to detail that WKC strives for in their acid etch. Um, these are all cer for ceremonial use, not sharpened, not used as an actual weapon, just for display only. Um, it is a rat tail tang, not a full tang, so it's not able to be struck. The Navy Premium is the next we'll go to. Uh, again, WKC's attention to detail in the acid etch. This is a stainless steel plated blade with the option of the genuine ray skin grip for the actual replacement grip. Uh, next we'll go to the Army NCO, which is also a stainless steel plated blade uh, with the wire wrap grip. <laughs> Thanks, Alan. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Richard Sharp 95th on Reddit asked, will there be an Ike jacket to be worn with the new greens? This question comes up fairly often, and we can continue to confirm that the Army is developing and reviewing both male and female prototypes for an optional Ike jacket, and it looks pretty awesome. Aggie16 on Reddit asked, will there be gender neutral waist belts? One try saying that five times fast. But although um, we have seen the same gender neutral waist belts on the prototypes, the male and female belts will be worn in the opposite direction to match the coat's closure. That's it for this episode of Marlow News. I hope you enjoyed this month's field trip as much as I did. Keep your questions coming on all of our social media channels. We'll be sure to answer them on there and a few on here each month. Thanks everyone. Stay cool and classy this warm summer. Bye. As this is Alan's first Marlow News showing, be sure to send any fan mail to service at <laughs>